Sinead from Cars Ireland. Today I'll be reviewing a 2004 Nissan Micra. This model here ran from 2003 to 2010 and the sheer number of them on Irish roads is a testament to what a great little car the Micra is. Now its looks might be unashamedly cute but don't let that fool you because this is one small car with a lot of substance underneath. So as the name suggests, it's not big in here, but it's not cramped either. It's very comfortable. There's plenty of adjustment in the driver's seat and in the steering wheel. And it's also very practical for a small car with plenty of storage areas throughout the cabin. The three seat belts in the back, there's not loads of room back there, but it should be fine for kids. It also comes in a five door version like this model here, which is good news for people who need to carry child seats. And it's also got ISOFIX child seat fittings. The boot is big enough for your week's worth of shopping and the seats fold 60-40 if you need to carry anything bigger. This is the 1 litre entry level Vizia model. It's also available in a 1.2 and a 1.4. They brought out a 1.6 in 2008 and there's also a 1.5 diesel version. The brake horsepower in this model is 65 and it takes 15.7 seconds to reach 62 miles an hour. So it's not going to win any races but that's not what the Micra is about. What it is though is very agile, the steering is really light and accurate, it would be perfect for driving through town and weaving in and out through traffic. Um, I've never driven a car easier to park than the Micra, um, it's just that responsive, I feel like I could drive it through the eye of a needle. Running costs are good, it's very very light on fuel as you would expect from a 1 litre engine, this one averages 49 mpg. It's also pretty reasonable to tax at 199 euros for the year. Nissan also made safety a priority with this generation of Micra. All models come with six airbags and ESP stability control as standard and it scored four out of five stars on the NCAP safety rating. Reliability shouldn't be an issue either. There's very few known problems with this model. They also offer great longevity, which is why you see so many of the older models still on the road. Any bad points? Well, it's not ideal for motorway driving. You definitely start to hear a lot more wind noise and start to feel a little bit of a shake at higher speeds. Then again, it's not designed for lengthy commutes or cross-country road trips. What it is designed for is to get you from A to B safely and cheaply, and it does that very well. So I think that's about it. If you'd like to see more used car reviews, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.